Hey everyone, today we're gonna take a look at this Dino Safari playset. So, we are basically are gonna have some fun trying to escape from the dinosaurs. So like always, let's unbox this and see what's inside. So here are all of our pieces of the playset and to be honest with you, I, I saw that the box is big but I really didn't think there's gonna be this many pieces. It really looks like it's going to be a big playset. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at this. So I left some pieces still in this foil simply because these are small pieces. So things like palm trees and supports. So it's gonna be a little bit easier for us to build when everything is together. Here we have our tracks. And they actually feel pretty nice when you turn them. So we have four different colors. We have this lime color, green color, dark green right here, and this very dark green. So really we have four shades of green when it comes to our track. We have our safari car. So this is the car we're gonna be driving around with right here. And we have our dinosaurs. Oh, they are pretty big. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting these dinosaurs to be this big, but just to show you in comparison with the car, these are pretty large. So this is, I believe, a T-Rex, which was one of the biggest dinosaurs that ever existed. And they are very, very good hunters. So this is something we're gonna need to be very careful about. We also have this dinosaur right here, and I believe this is a raptor. So again, this is a dinosaur we have to be very careful about because I do know that raptors had very good eyesight. So they saw things very well, and they have very strong legs. So not a dinosaur you really want to get up close to. And we also have this bird, this flying reptile. It's not a bird, it's a flying reptile, I guess. I believe the name was Pterodoxo. So we have these three different creatures that we will have to be very careful about and try to escape using our car. So before we do all of that, we need to put all of this playset together. So let's get started. So first thing, like always, let's put our batteries into this car. So... Let's just twist this screw right here. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. If we lift the cover, as you see, the wheels lift along with the cover for the batteries. This is the first time I see something like this. That's pretty cool. But here's where our batteries will go. So let's put them in. And close everything up. There it is. And we're gonna press this button on top. And it works! So next, it's time to put our tracks together. And as you see, a lot of these tracks are already connected together. However, they are connected together with the same color. And what I would like to do is to have what they have on the cover. And as you see right here, the colors are actually mixed. So it does give this really cool and nice appearance. So that's what we have to do with all of these tracks. So we have to, oh, and they separate actually quite easily. So we separate all of them. And then we just have to snap all of them back together. And we're going to create this beautiful track. So. I saw on the picture that they started with the light color and then they moved into the greenish. So they basically went from light to dark. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Like so. There it is. I think we have replicated what's on the box. I think so. And so we just now have to do this with all these tracks. So check this out, this is just one color. 
and there's so many pieces. I still have three more colors to go. This is gonna be a lot of work, but you know what? I think the final product is gonna look really nice. I think it's definitely gonna be worth it. So let's continue. Okay, so we got our second color completed. So we got this lime color and the green one. Now we're moving into our third color, this dark green. So there it is, our third color. And last one, we're almost there. Okay, here we go. I have separated the four different colors. And now what we need to do is put them back together, but in this pattern right here, starting with the lightest one and ending with the darkest one. So let me put together a few tracks like that. Okay, now that we have our pieces ready for the track itself, let's finally take out the pieces from this foil because these will be mostly the supports. So let's start working with these now. And we also have four palm trees. And now we need to connect everything together. And these will be three of our supports. Which we're gonna use under this big piece right here. So let's put them in. One. Two, and the last one, three. Whoa, my leg fell off. So first we're gonna have this rock right here. Then this one. And finally, the third one. And what they actually do is they tilt. So in a second, we will find out how this works. Now we need to connect it with a bridge. And we have this big piece complete. Let's now move into the next major piece. So we're gonna take these right here. We're gonna take one of these tracks that we have built and we're gonna place them right here in the middle. Like so. And put our sign. So now that we have completed this piece, let's connect it to the first one, like so, and here we have it. Take a look at this already. I mean, it looks pretty awesome. And we haven't touched most of the tracks yet. So this is really going to be a big playset. Let's now make a turn under this tunnel right here. So we're just gonna need two of these. And then these are gonna be our ramps going up and going down. We place them right here. And we're gonna connect the tracks now together. Okay. Here's gonna be our turn. 
Okay, now that we have this huge turn completed, let's build our bridge because this playset does have a bridge as well. So let's do that now. And I'm really excited about the bridge because it does seem like it will be able to go up and down. So here we just need three pieces of the track and the same thing from the other side. Okay, this is gonna be the top part, but we also have a bottom part. And here it is. Now let's connect both of them together. So using these pillars, Here we have it, our bridge. So now that we have the three major pieces of the playset completed, our bridge, the tunnel, and that big piece, we just now need to connect everything together and we will complete the assembly. And over here, let's attach this gate, these doors. And here is our final connection. Oh, wow. Now this is a track. Okay, now to finish all of this up, we still have two pieces like this. So these represent logs. Sort of like small little obstacles for our car. So let's place one right here. And let's maybe place one right here. So we have these logs and we also have the four palm trees. So let's just put them in different places. Now we just need to place our dinosaurs. So maybe let's place the T-Rex here. Ooh. On this turn. And the Raptor. So we have completed our playset. So check this out. This is awesome. So here's gonna be our starting point. Our car is ready. We're gonna move down the track. Uh-oh, we will have to be careful with the T-Rex. But here we're gonna make a turn, our palm tree, our obstacle. Here we will be able to choose which way our car will go. Another one that we need to be careful about. So if we go this way, we could go through these doors and up the bridge. So here we have that bridge that we were building. Another turn. Uh-oh. Here is our raptor. And here is our tunnel. So this is really an interesting playset. And it's pretty big. Again, I really wasn't expecting this to be this large. But here it is. So, are you guys ready to try this out? I know I am. Let's do it.
Here comes the boulders. Whoa! Did you guys see the rocks move? Let's check this out one more time. Here comes the car. Oh! Oh no, the T-Rex just saw us. And he's beginning to chase us. Oh no, run! Oh, the T-Rex slipped. And we were able to escape. Hoo hoo hoo, that was close. Oh no, but here comes our second challenge, a raptor! Uh oh. Oh no, there's gonna be a raptor at the end of this tunnel. He saw us. Oh, there he is. Oh, just missed us. Woohoo! Oh, raptors are fast, but not fast enough. But that was a close one. But we have one more major obstacle because our car is going straight towards the bridge and look what's blocking the roadway. Uh oh, what are we gonna do? I got an idea. Oh, just in time. We raised the bridge. Oh, <laughs> not quick enough. Oh no, and here's the T-Rex again. Uh oh, take that. <laughs> you know what else could be a very good addition to this playset? My small dinosaur cars. Check these out. I have five of them. And they actually fit in quite nicely into this playset. So let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, uh oh, got stuck on the palm tree. But they actually fit pretty nicely into the track itself. So I could even use something like this as an addition to the playset. So I hope all of you enjoyed exploring this new playset along with me. And like always, I hope you are having a wonderful day. And I will see you very shortly in another video with another great toy that I have. Until then, bye-bye.